Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back once again to the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Yeah, I said the title properly this time. Shock horror. We're in Firewatch, specifically the Dustmoth Legion Garrison West Tower. So is another one of those delightful TARDIS-esque buildings with an inside that seems to be an awful lot bigger than the outside. But hey, um, we're here with Publius. We are um, doing Legion quests. Previously, Vicius Pitio asked us to deliver a shipment to Nivalis. I'm going to go to Icebreaker Keep and speak with Tiberia Roan. Uh, it's a letter, really, rather than shipment, I think, but uh, whatever. And then we met the Legion garrison champion Darnell outside, a Red Guard, and he asked us to show him the shipment, and we refused. He then told me to talk to him in the watchtower at the east end of town if I get any suspicious orders. Because apparently the garrison here at Firewatch is incredibly corrupt. But unlike at all the other corrupt forts in Vardenfell, here we might actually be able to do something about it. We'll see. Oh, right, we're up here. I could jump down there, but I'd probably take a billion million points of falling damage. So let's not. Publius. Get a move on, my dude. He has some real difficulty with the with the with the architecture in here for some reason. I don't know why. Come on, that man. We've got places to be. If you say what say you, one more goddamn time, I swear. Right. What are you running around for, Silanus and Antonius? Anyway. Uh, so, my FPS is improved a little bit. Although I'm going to go to view distance and chop that down a chunk to help it a little more. Um... Our FPS has been improved a little bit in between this stream and the last one. I, I did uh, I did a couple of things. I discovered, firstly, that if you go into your NVIDIA control panel and you force Morrowind to use um, threaded optimization, that gives you a noticeable performance boost in areas like this in cities. Uh, the other thing that I did was I went into the uh, graphics extender options here and turned per pixel lighting mode to over to per pixel in interiors only and not in exteriors. That's what it, that's the difference. You probably wouldn't have noticed if unless I'd actually shown you and told you. But that's just that's all that changes when you do it. And it, the, the the difference is very very slight. And by turning that off in exteriors, you you immediately gain a, quite a lot of frames per second. Um because if you were here for the last stream, you will recall that the uh, the frame rate here in Firewatch was absolutely atrocious. I, I was thinking about also installing that Project Atlas optimization mod, but um, I'm a little terrified that I'm going to destroy my entire install if I try and do that now. So I decided not to in the end. But anyway, it's now what I would call playable. We're getting a good, you know, maybe 30 to 40 FPS here in the middle of Firewatch. So that, that works for me. It was really dreadful yesterday, though. Oh, here's the, uh, the what's this the, get called again? The Shrine of St. Taldius? War Saints Fortress. This shrine is amazing. It gives you a shield effect for, like, an entire day. And it's 20 points of shield as well. It's no joke. Anyway, we need to go to Nivalis which is that island up there. Now, we could just take a boat. I'm not going to, though, because that's boring. And we'll save some money. And, of course, we're constantly perpetually short of money in this Let's Play, so I want to keep my 344 gold. And we're going to just walk up to Nivalis. And I'm doing this also not just to save money, but also because, you know, we can get into exciting hijinks and adventures along the way, so why not, right? And also, the Embers of Empire update for... Uh, Tamriel rebuilt has dramatically changed the landscape in this part of the world. Uh, it looks completely unrecognizable from how I remember it being back in the Fathis Let's Play. So, for one thing, there's a bunch of Ashlands out there now. 
Is Red Box Man still there? He probably is. Should we go and say hello to Red Box Man? Legionary Deprecatus Acetus. Right, around the corner here. Yeah, they've even changed the name of this. This used to be called something else. It's called the Dagon Ural region now. This I'm sure it used to be something else, like called called like Malagriad or something. I think it was. There he is. There's Boxman. He's wearing he's wearing the red asset. His deprecated box of shame. Poor guy. Taking the eastern mainland is the most developed part of Tamara Rebuilt. Usually, honestly, whatever that was the latest bit to release is the most developed part. Um, so, We're a lot of this area got retouched up in the Embers of Empire update. Um, and this is the real, new to, new, the newest stuff. Dominions of Dust was all this stuff over here. So, right, this over here is probably the most up to date sort of most feature complete ish kind of I don't want to say feature complete but most polished and newest and fanciest element of the mod although I have to say at the Anthirin update which is all this stuff down here is kind of amazing and awesome um, the Anthirin expansion for TR was just so good has some just utterly amazing quests Siriondil, thank you very much for 39 months of subage. Welcome back. But anyway, yes. Yeah. So I, I fixed the FPS, as you can see. It was um, much improved over there in, in Firewatch. I did a little a test earlier, and I, I COC'd myself in the console over to Old Ebonheart. Old Ebonheart runs pretty good too now. And I checked out Balmora and, and Nisus as well on the main on, on I say the mainland on Vardenfell because I know they were giving, giving us some FPS issues as well and they run really smooth now. So yeah, big 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 improvement. Turn off per pixel lighting in the in your graphics extender options, and enable threaded optimization in your Nvidia control panel. Those two things got me like an extra 20 FPS in some locations in the game actually astonishing difference Do you know I'm making a real pig's ear of it right now but I'm is it dead it's difficult to say it's not dead there we go got it in the end the musk flies are like cliff races but they're worse because their hitbox is just the worst Beetle resin. That's actually worth 40 gold. I'm having that. What else? Oh! Ha ha! There we go. The old versus We're the new here. You. Take a cliff racer any day over a musk fly. It's so annoying. Tommy boy, thank you very much for the tier 1 sub 6 months in advance. Don't see that message very often. I didn't even know you could do that. Honestly, but cheers. Much appreciated. It's kind of hilarious you're running Morrowind on a 3080 Ti and aren't even at locked at a locked 60 FPS at 1080p. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's just delightfully absurd like that, isn't it? But hey ho, playing old games on new computers. It's never simple. There's a lot of beetles around here. I'm loving the fact that we've got a spear now, finally. One of my intentions with this character was to actually use the damn spear skill for once. So I'm glad we've actually got a spear now. I actually prefer you prefer it to using the sword, just because the animation is faster. And you got that extra reach.
Oh, I changed some uh, Morrowind code patch options as well. I, I almost forgot. I enabled the option that lets me toggle the vanity cam on and, and have it stay pointed in the direction I want. So we can have this glorious uh, Morrowind side-on profile here of the uh, award-winning running animations. Uh, <laughs> it's even better when you get the crossbow out. There we go. Beautiful. Masterpiece. 10 out of 10. Game of the year. Um... But also, I um, rather crucially, I edited the. Um, oh, well, no, this isn't where I wanted to be. I edited the um, the code patch options as well, so that I've made it. I've made it so that NPCs can't use their racial abilities now, because I was getting a little sick and tired of like w bumping into two random dark elf peasants and then turning into a massive boss battle that takes me like ten minutes to kill them. After reloading the game like six times, uh, that, that 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 the novelty of that experience was wearing pretty friggin' thin. Let me tell you. So, uh, uh, enemy NPCs can no longer use their racial powers because it was taking the piss. Well, I might as well check this place out. I don't. We don't typically loot ancestral tombs, but I don't think this is an ancestral tomb. So, should we have a look? There's an orc. That's never a good sign. He doesn't appear to be hostile, though I can hear some sort of undead monstrosity around here. Masha Gradugal. I'd turn back if I were you. I stumbled into a trap here. Look, don't worry about me. I got into this mess by myself, and you're liable to get yourself stuck too if you're not careful. Nice and protector of the fighters guild. Oh, I bet you mu you must be a fighters guild quest. Course preparation volume one. You ought to take that and burn it, really. Oh, destruction increased to seven! Hooray! Morrowind, Historia, and Dothran. We should read this, because Andothran's one of the new areas in the latest update for TR. I'm not going to read it right now, but I will take it. Oh, scroll of the sixth barrier. Very nice. Oh boy, there is a lot of valuable books here. Load up, Publius. We're selling these for some money. Learn the spell pinprick from this book, I see. Any other valuable ones? Oh, hello. I don't know how we instinctively know which books are the most valuable. Maybe just, I don't know, they're, they've got like really, really fancy covers. Like gilded with pearl and gold plate and stuff like that. Less Reveal. What happened to you? I feel like I don't want to step into the middle of those tortured things. I, 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 that doesn't look like a smart idea. Well, don't know what happened here. Don't know why that orc is stuck. Since he doesn't seem to want our help, then I guess there's nothing we can do. I can hear a bone walker somewhere. Oh, what on earth? What is going on here? It's a bone lord. That's what the noise is. He 
Interesting. Uh oh. Something wants us dead. I don't think they can get to us though. Alright, well. Uh oh. Blight storm incoming. What the hell are those? Are those land dregs? Bet you, I bet you anything they are. We're about to find out. Yep, they are. Tamriel Rebuilt and Dregs. Name a more iconic duo. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Okay, right. Um, we've kind of walked up the wrong peninsula here. This is how much the landscape's changed with the last update. Um, I've gone completely the wrong way. the increased weapon reach I have with the spear. Keep running right up into their faces when I don't actually need to. I'm currently warm. I remove the skirt when we become a bit less than warm. I mean Damn these ash storms man. They just are a pain. <laughs> They're a pain. Should have gone to an inn and gotten myself a uh, a hot meal. Could have got one of the. Should, could have done with getting that uh, sort of agility boosting soup you can get. Hello, Mr. Gua. Please leave me alone. What I don't get is why this place is getting an ash storm when the Grey's Lands never does. There's kind of like a, a small mountain line here, and I always assumed that that kind of blocked the worst of it, and that's why the Grey's Lands isn't covered in ash. So, why are we getting ash storms here? Maybe it goes up over the Grey's Lands and comes down again or something? I don't know. In, in ye old Tamriel rebuilt, this this region did not get ash storms, so. If, they, if, there's, if they added more volcanoes to the region, I guess fair enough, I suppose. But, I mean, I always thought it was a specifically Red Mountain thing, this whole ash storm thing. I mean, you know, that's why wherever you are on, in the world, when there's an ash storm, it will be blowing from the direction of Red Mountain. So if we were down here and we were in an ash storm, 
if I pointed in, the, 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 the ash storm sort of wind particle effects would be coming from this direction, from the, from the mountain. No matter where you are in the world, the ash storm always comes from the direction of Red Mountain. I thought for a second that was lava, but no, it's just the red box of shame again. We've gone the wrong way twice. Although, we're going to need to go over these hills in order to actually get to where we want to go, so... We need to go that way and then take a left somewhere. Never fear, for the auto-run key is here. Volcano in the region is called Mount Sarunabi. I see. Well, the settlement's actually called Fire Watch rather than Fire Moth, and the. Uh the fort is called Fort Dust Moth. Ow! Oh, what the? What? What? What the? I was over encumbered briefly there for a second. What kind of crazy spell is this scamp using? Oh my god, really? Okay. Dwayne, my weapons don't work on Daedra or ghosts, apparently. Why is there a scamp here? I blame the Mage's Guild. Well, thirsty. All right then. Um, I was about to say we're running low on water, but not really. No, we've got a huge cooking pot full of the stuff. We could do with something to eat, actually. Let's have some scrib jelly. There we go. Delicious scrib jelly. Yum yum yum. Isn't Fire Moth... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't misremembering that. Yeah, Fire Moth is the, uh, is the DLC fort from one of the official DLC plugins. Oh, my Red Telvada. Ranyan Rune. Ranyan Rune is this way? Oh, Ranyan Room's like down here somewhere. Whatever, this is the way we want to be going, I think, so. Oh wow, that beetle has quite the aggro range, doesn't it? Brown beetle. One of these things. A parastylus or something. Absolute nightmare fuel these. Hate them. Gah. Great big land prawn made of nope. Need some healing. He's one of my homemade healing potions. I can see a clan fear over there. Oh, hello. A traveller on the road. Sandra and Aaron. You're unclean, Outlander. Get away from me. And also, oh, really? Got re the rattles. Oh, great. Oh, lovely. There we go. Lucky I'll make it south before too long. 
Okay, this guy has no dialogue topics, whatever. He must be part of a quest. Uh, ancestral tomb, we'll leave that alone. Oh my goodness! There's the storm finally dying down. Or am I just wandering into a new region? Probably the latter. The cat keeps coming into the room screaming, then leaving. It's not feeding time again for at least three hours. She can smell chicken in the oven. <laughs> Colin does that, it's usually just because he's bored though. In fact, I'm a little surprised he hasn't made an appearance at the door just yet in this stream so far. Udimasadra. Let's take a look. Oh my god! What the... For Jesus! Alright, alright, I can take a hint. We're not wanted. Never mind then! Let's see another scamp over there. Why is this region infested with Daedra? What is giving God in here? Ancestral tombs were guarded like that, they'd never be looted, yeah, I know. Okay, now now things are starting to look a little more familiar. I remember this place. From ye old Tamriel rebuilt. I remember this big scaffoldy thing up here on the hill. This is a very strange mixture of the familiar and the unfamiliar, this. some angry Ashlanders and today you're not going to be casting bloody sanctuary on yourself and summoning an ancestor ghost because I turned that off you're just some dude with an axe now oh. hey, you gotta watch out for Publius he'll teleport like that <laughs> Antonia. There you go. Got anything good? Nah. Where'd the other one go? There was another one, I'm sure of it. There's a Kaguti down there. Oh, there he is. Hiding, eh? Like when they turn god mode on. Oh, it was. There we go. Oh boy. Get out of here with your goddamn poison magic axe thing, whatever this is. Ah. 
beginning to wonder where you were, Publius. God, she was tough. Iron Viper X, huh? Nasty bit of kit, is it? Oh, wine! Don't mind if I do. Well, you laugh, Heckelopter, but just imagine how much more of a pain in the ass that fight would have been. It would have been turn the difficulty down territory. Whoa. These ebony enchanted arrows, it certainly looks like it. Well, there's a fire. It's 5 p.m. Maybe we'll just camp here for the night. Anything we can cook? Technically, I could cook a mushroom. You know what? Why the hell not? We never do that. That's a pretty hefty slice of mushroom, too, actually. Wow. Potato! And I had an onion, but I think I, I think we ate it, didn't we? Actually, where is there? It is. I've got a better idea. Uh oh. I don't have a ladle. Crap. That's annoying. Um. Fix that, I just need to find a tree. This will do. The one holding up this awning thing. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Actually, maybe maybe we'll just, maybe we'll try a different tree. There we go, that's some firewood. Uh wooden ladle. How do we make a ladle? something I have to use the chisel for. There we go. I don't know what happened to my old one. There we go. Add ingredient, vegetable, potato! Add ingredient, mushroom? Yes. Add ingredient, meat. Razor meat. Daedra heart stew. Tempting, uh, it's a tempting idea actually, but no. Herb. Stone flower petal. Yeah. All right. So it's cliff racer. Mushroom, potato, and stone flower stew. Hope you like it, Publius. Yeah, I think I left it in the stone bowl that I got rid of. That's probably where it's gone. getting in our pot. It's just um, it's adding to the flavour. That little sousson of uh, acidic Vardenfell, well not Vardenfell, Morrowind rainwater. go cooked aromatic fortifies personality fortify health fatigue and magicka i've made more useful stews potentially in the past but it'll do
the night. Alright. Eats you. You can have some as well. And, uh... Pick up. Remove grill. And we're ready to go. Ooh, lovely sunrise. Now then, we want to go sort of this way. Ooh, uh, sorry guys. I sneezed twice earlier at the start of the stream, but I managed to mute it. Not today though. Not this time anyway. Uh, Publius, hopefully you're not going to disappear into the ether and you'll be able to figure this out. Whee! <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> What do we have here then? This looks like smuggler activity to me. Oh. Unless there's something, some contraband in that chest. There's nothing illegal here. Smuggling quam eggs, the villains. Well, they might have stolen them from an egg mine, to be fair, but uh, can't really prove that, can I? Whatever. Oh my god. Uh, that's quite the aggro range. Oh, nice one, Publius. Down, get him. Oof. I thought he was going to be a lot more dangerous than he actually was in the end. Claymore of Hewing. Fwah. I'm going to give this to Publius. Or I would if it weren't for the fact that he's now just. Right, there we go. That's better. Oh yeah, one small side effect of turning off the per pixel lighting. Sometimes this weird glitch happens. Nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. Bubblius, I found you a gigantic claymore. Enjoy. Um, kind of want to go that way, don't we? We're sort of on the wrong side of this gigantic hill at the moment. Trying to avoid getting wet. Look, look at the weird little shack. What's that about, I wonder? Nice digit ruin up there, though. Look at that. Ooh, Talvani Town over there, too. Oh, check out this shack, though. This is just, this is just begging to be explored. Claymore. If we hadn't just found you a superior magical one, I'd probably give you that, actually. Probably is, is he even using it? Looks like he's still got his regular sword equipped. Never mind. Daedra skin, huh? 
Raw adamantium ore? Bloody hell, you don't find that every day. Irigol... Irigol... Steel Fist's shack. Hello. On your way. I don't know you. What do you want? I'm... Um, Irigol Steel Fist, Smith. Okay. He sells stuff. Interesting. I guess we'll be leaving. Sorry to bother you. It's not a funny shaped rock as I thought it was previously, it's a shipwreck. Oh, you know what, I think I have a weird recollection of this place too. I think I remember these wooden staircases going down the side here. Or somewhere very like this. I'm tempted to check out that shipwreck actually. Oh hello. There's an unwrecked ship over there, and some Dwemer stuff. So all this then. How large? A dead Argonian. What have we got here? Some armor. Oh. Haha. <laughs> I see he got pinned by the table. Thanks to the ruby, dude. Fascinating. Anything in this barrel? Nope. All right. What's with the what's with the, what's with the weird wind sound effect? What's with the blood moon wind sound effect? Holy crap, it's snowing. Alright. Where's that uh, little amulet of light I've got? There we go, that's handy. There you go. Officially, I think, our first magical doodad that's actually useful. Ooh, raw ebony. Interesting. Please don't drown, Publius. Oh god, I think he's drowning. Oh no. No, no, no. Don't drown, dude. Oh, he's making drowning noises. Come this way. Oh, he's fucking drowned. Oh my god. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Where even is he now? Dude! Stop trying to drown yourself, you f goddamn idiot! Just... Stay here! Oh my god, okay, this is an interesting time to share this information, but I just clicked the Danza topic, which is the last quest we did in Vardenfell. I'm so glad we could rescue Danza, and now I have the name of my father's murderer. Apparently. Don't know where he got that from. Hope that one day we'll face that Breton. Maranik 
Jolvan. I think that she actually hides somewhere here in Vardenfell. She's pillaged a whole she pillaged the whole village. So nowhere else in the Empire it is safe for her now. Okay. That's interesting, dude. I don't know when that happened, but whatever. Just <laughs> stay right there. Ashfall seems to be remarkably okay with us swimming in very cold seawater, judging by the temperature bar at the bottom left there. Oh crap. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh dear. Oh no. I'm stuck. Oh, that's bad. Blech. It still tickles me that potions restore your hydration. It makes perfect sense. So I don't know why I should find it funny, but I just do. Right. Come along then. Let's go. Let's go find out what that's about over there. I don't I, I I don't think it's a case of Ashfall being more lenient. I think it's a case of well for one thing, you'll notice how, how much colder the bar is now. At the bottom left there. But also I, I I'm not sure Ashfall necessarily recognises this as being a in particularly cold part of the map. If we were to go swimming around in the water in, in Solstheim, by comparison, I'm sure the effect would be a lot more pronounced. Oh, he is using the massive claymore. Excellent. Good stuff, Publius. Two-handed weapons in the hands of NPCs always just seem to be absolutely devastating, so I'm glad he's using it. extra layers on it. It's kind of chilly here. What kind of coverage does the Ash Goggles have versus this? It's the same. Jolly good. Hello, mole crab. Right. Go for a nice swimming holiday around the Mortrag Glacier here. Yeah. <laughs> it make doing that um one of the quests in Blood Moon a lot more challenging, wouldn't it? The uh Well we have to swim down into that cave in the middle of the ocean. I forget which one it is. It's one of the ones where you got to get the the winds or something, the bag of wind or whatever it is. Part part of the main main Blood Moon quest. The Grand Master's probe, nice. Oh, with the swimmer, yeah, yeah, that's the one. all this then hmm hello There 
there are people up there. It's not not a Mary Celeste situation here. Just doesn't seem to be a way to get up there. Probably is. You're not. Yeah. Okay. He's on the surface. I'm gonna quick save before we go in here in case he decides to drown himself again. It's looking like this is prime Publius drowning himself territory. It's prime drowning my damn self territory, actually. Yeah, forget this. I'm not equipped for for underwater shenanigans. Oh my god, he's not. Publius, you fucking moron. Come on. What are you doing? Get over here. I'm just going to load the quick save. That's why I made it. He stayed to drown himself. Yes, he did. <sighs> anyway. I want to be over there. This is fascinating and no doubt part of a quest of some sort. But since I don't appear to be able to actually get into the boat... Unless there's a way up this side. There's not a lot for us to do here. I could just use the console to get up there, but I don't really want to cheat. Yeah, there's a way to get up there. It's probably part of a quest. So why spoil it for ourselves? Probably is Aquaticus. Two legionaries going for a swim in the snow in full gear and somehow not sinking. I mean, probably this kind of looks like he's struggling back there, but uh, we're fine. chilly. Well, I would have thought so, considering I'm soaking wet and now in the middle of a blizzard. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't necessarily expecting a Talvani Tower over there, and yet I can see one. Telvani, part Telvani Tower, part friggin' Dunmer Stronghold? What on earth is going on over there? There's a little outpost here though, let's check this out. And there's a friggin' fly thing here! Aha! Look at him go with his claymore. You're kind of embarrassing yourself here a little bit, dude. There we go. Elam Gineth. Hello. You're apparently completely unfazed by that friggin' fly thing. Oh. Brings you to Baloira. We don't get many visitors here, aside from these damn musk flies. And swarming our town and we can't figure out how to get rid of them. They aren't too dangerous as long as you don't disturb them, but their musk is foul. Talk to Gillis Larefi in the lighthouse if you want to help. Wait a minute. I remember this. Man, Balora looks totally different now. Balora was like a little honest to goodness town in the old version. It had imperial buildings and a little fort and everything. Now it's like a tiny village with some shacks and a lighthouse. Man, this place went to hell. Is 
this guy with the rowboat do? He can take us to Nivalis. Okay, that's good. We won't have to swim any further then. By Ramu and Telwada. Hmm. I'm tempted to do. Publish, you, you. What is wrong with you, man? This is like, um, this is like in Pharaoh or Caesar 3. That's what essentially has happened here. Like, the desirability of the local area has gone down because of the musk flies, and now the entire town is downgraded from, like, nice townhouses to, uh, wooden shacks. That's, that's pretty much what's happened here. Anyone who's played Pharaoh or Caesar will know what I'm talking about. That is exactly what's happened here. Everything's just gone pop, and suddenly the houses turned into shacks. Hello, V, by the way. I'm, I'm going to do this quest. Even though I've done it in the old version, I want to see if it's any different. Yes, they've been quite a problem for me especially. I've figured out that they're attracted to the lighthouse flame. I'm keeping the fire as low as I can without extinguishing it. This seems to have... This seems to have cut down on the numbers coming into town, but not gotten rid of them completely. I think it's time to be a little less gentle. Would you be willing to eliminate all the muskflies in Baloira? I already killed the muskflies outside. Good to hear you've killed them, but that's only the first step. Even if you kill all the ones that have reached town, there will always be more nearby. What we need to do is draw them all in and finish off the entire swarm at once. Like I said, I've been keeping the fire low. It's time to let the flame blaze brightly again. Take this oil and throw it in the fire. Then ready yourself. You'll have the whole swarm coming for you. Oh my god, this sounds actually horrific. Save the game before we do this. Well, this is already completely different. In the original quest, um, there was like a, a dude that was putting weird stuff into his chimney that was attracting the musk flies. He was like a Telvani agent or something, and he was trying to get the Imperials to leave by attracting the musk flies. So. All right, let's do this. Try not to fall off the lighthouse, Publius, please. The fire, fire burns bright him. The fire rises. Oh my God, what is he doing? <laughs> He's just Errol flinned himself off the side again. Uh, never changes, does he? Classic Populius, yes. <laughs> oh, I can level up, sweet. Did he survive? Oh, he survived, all right. He's down there vibrating away. Very good. <laughs> Are you proud of yourself? I'm sure you thought that looked a lot cooler in your head. Good to see you back in one piece. That should be the end of the muskfly swarm. I'm sure everyone in Baloira will be relieved. More importantly, I can let the lighthouse flame burn at its fullest once again. The dull fire caused some troubles. But never mind that. We don't have much here. But take this gold for your hard work. And this fish too. It will cover the musk smell. Have some fish. 300 gold is no joke, though. That's, uh... We have 783 gold, everybody! We're rich! Practically double the amount of gold I have. Very generous, Lighthouse Keeper. Right, anyway. Get, get it, get, take me to Nivalis. No more swimming for me today, thank you very much. Alright, here we are. You are chilly. Whoa, nice longship, dude. Sweet longship, bro. Oh yeah, it is a bit cold here, apparently. Wow. This is pretty cool. I don't know if this settlement even existed in the old Tamriel rebuild. 
I sure as hell don't remember it. So this is a navy outpost, right? Rub Remagar. An officer of the Imperial Navy. Go about your business. Marcella. Good weapons are hard to come by on Althoa. Traveller, luckily I make the very best. Althoa. This is the island of Althoa. It's the northern it's the northernmost inhabited island in Morrowind province. I see. Marcella, Smith, and Journeyman of the Fighters Guild. Hmm. I was going to ask for somewhere specific, but that's not an option here. Let's get a bit more info about the place. Clovian Fur Cure. Is that, you got anything decent available, actually? Since I find myself so thoroughly flush with cash at the moment. Heavy kite and helmet. Okay, interesting. Uh, wooden crossbow. Oh, I'll have those steel bolts. Okay, nothing particularly amazing other than a Clovian fur cuirass. That's kind of cool. Ooh, multiple varieties of Clovian fur cuirass. Ooh, and gauntlets and boots. feel like getting one just because what's the warmth 16 how's that compared to what we're wearing right now warmth 6 so if we go anywhere really cold we could pop the colovian fur curious i'm you know what it weighs eight that's the thing i'll over encumber me as soon as i take the damn thing it's the only fly in this particular ointment as usual i'm Battling my own carry capacity once again. We do have a bunch of stuff we can sell, just not to her. I will be back for that Colovian for a curious, madam. For now, though, you can buy those off me. Is this well usable? It is! Brilliant. Actually, fill container. Glass bottle. Uh, don't fill the pot though, because that'll get rid of the stew, I think. Uh, yeah, I might I might come back and buy that, that Curious that curious at some point, in case we end up going to... Well, we probably will go to Solstheim at some point, because I, mean, I installed Tomb of the Snow Prince, and I do eventually want to check it out at some point, so we'll need some cold weather clothing when we go there, I imagine. A little bit of everything for a fair price, at least everything one could expect here at the ends of the earth. Feel free to have a look around. What do you have then? Hmm. Lots and lots of different varieties of magic arrow for some reason. Interesting, but I have things to sell you. All of these valuable books I found. I'm going to keep that one on Andothan, though, because it might be useful later. There's the package for Tiberia. That. Art of War Magic Spectrum Study. Blah, 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 blah. Warped West. That's a very valuable one for some reason. Uh, yeah, ditch all of that. Or kindling for the fire, as far as Antonia's concerned. I think she's not a big reader. <laughs> she was trained to lead, not to read. Oh dear, I've just noticed the seller gold is 300. Oh no. <laughs> uh, has she got anything worth cha exchanging it for? Anything at all? She's got some potions. Four 
afford to fight agility. Do you know what? This is the only character I've ever played where that seems like a good idea. Sure, I'll have it. Take some marshmallow as well, I guess. Cork bowl brute. Salt rice. You're selling raw ebony? That's 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 against the law, madam. Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or so on and so forth and what have you. Any decent weapons for sale? Not really. Arrow of Elements. That's weird. It's not enchanted. Amulet of Balina's Antidote. Cure poison on self. Value 450. Eh. I'm going to start removing things here because... Actually, no. Take away the things that don't weigh as much. Took a bit of convincing, we managed it. Very good. Alright, now I've gotten rid of some of those. I want that Colovian Curus. Now, admittedly, how are the how are the boots compared to my my current boots? Warmth three, warmth eight. Tempted to get the boots as well, but it's it's a bit much in the carry capacity department for me. Um we'll have that. Come on. There we go. Problem is it's not Legion uniform, so the Legion NPCs will whinge at me for wearing it and tell me I'm out of uniform. However, could be very useful in cold areas like this one right now, in fact. I mean, if you look at the, let's see how much the bar changes by when I switch. Not as much as I thought, admittedly, actually. A little disappointed by that, but never mind. Frankly, I just like the look of it, so I'm keeping it. The Black Ogre. It's a good name for a tavern. Could pop in and get a hot meal. Wow, okay. The fortifications have seen better days. Man, this place makes Fort Frostmoth look like a palace. Inscribed stone. Duchess Beredami Vainth. Here it was slain, 5th of Hearthfire, 398, the noble Duchess Vainth of Firewatch, loyal servant of the true Emperor, while defending Nivalis from the forces of the accursed traitor Kassik. Yes, General Kassik. Might end up doing that quest again when we get to Old Ebonheart. I think it was a quest with multiple endings too, actually, if I recall. So I might do a different ending this time. Well, it's a bit smoky in here, isn't it? Bizarre. Welcome to Nivalis, Traveller. Best not to stay out in the cold too long. Looking for services of someone in particular. Tibera Roan is the commander of Icebreaker Keep. Imperial Navy Fort that surrounds Nivalis. Message registry. Alright. Presumably she's upstairs somewhere. Whoa. What is it with that random NPCs running around everywhere in this, uh, in this part of the world. There's a dude in the 
dust moth garrison that was doing that as well. There she is. If a few words can help, I'd be happy to talk. I don't recall sending for a, a adventurer. A insert PC class here. Do you need something? Yes. Uh, shipment to Nivalis. Ah, good. A letter from the commander. Here, have a courier's fee. 50 gold. Hooray. Is that it? On your way. I guess that's it. She's just training, apparently. I have. I am with the Imperial Legion, you mad woman. I guess I'm not high enough rank or something. This is Icebreaker Keep. It was built back in Empress Mori Hartha's day, when everyone was terrified that the Akaviri were going to come screaming back across the Padamaic to sack Tamriel in revenge for Uriel the Fifth's failed invasion. The Akaviri never came, though. Hmm. So that's why this place exists. Well, I was not expecting a Star Trek reference on uh, my bingo card for today's Morrowind stream, but there it is. Um, Ash and Blood, Volume 2. I don't know what that's about. Presumably, maybe vampires or something. Judging by the title. Oh, crap. No, we're in the curtain wall. I don't want to be there. You know, the first time I went into a, uh, a fort in this game, first time I ever went into a fort in Morrowind, when I originally played it back in 2002, I walked into, like, XYZ Fort Curtain Wall, and I assumed it was like a, a tavern or something, the Curtain Wall. I didn't realise just that was what the wall was called. It's quite, uh, it's quite picturesque, that, isn't it? It's, uh, potential thumbnail material that let's pop in here and get ourselves a drink shall we uh welcome to nivalis traveler best not to stay out in the cold too long yeah um ah oh, good old good old morrowind and it's copy pasted dialogue water refill no we're good for that i wouldn't mind however Hot meal. Tasty soup. Fortifies agility. Yes, please. You still anything else? Mead. Do you have any beds? Sure, I guess I'll take it. I think you have to be in the navy to use the beds in the fort, so. Nice hammer you've got on your back there. Lugging a great big mallet around. Um, hello. Sorry, wrong room. This is the one we want. Find your own damn room, Publius. Alright, 5pm. We'll spend the rest of the day here. Head up back in the morning. Level up, finally. Level 6. Strength. More speed. And crucially, more agility, as usual. Alright. Go and get some more stew for breakfast. Hello. You're a scout, apparently. A scout who doesn't believe in wearing trousers. They just slow him down. Right. 
Well fed, hydrated, well rested. Let's get out of here. Cool little settlement though, I like it. Something about the design of it reminds me of Arc Twind. It doesn't feel like a vanilla Morrowind settlement, it feels very Arc Twendy. Can't quite put my finger on why, it just sort of does. Right, Elnori Pelelius. Get me the heck out of here. All the way back to Firewatch, please. It's a bundle of gold, my goodness, but I'll pay it. What say you? Right. Ah, yes, there goes the frame rate. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, where's uh, the guy? He's in this tower, isn't he? He's not in the west one, he's in the east one. There he is. Vicius Pitio. You delivered the package? Fine, good enough. But I'm afraid I've got more orders now, champion. I need you to recover an agent's contraband. An agent of the Legion, one Dovis Athrian, was supposed to turn over some contraband he confiscated in a raid. However, he's not arrived and we suspect he's in danger. An archer of ours has spotted his Pacguar's corpse lying on a small island west off the coast of Firewatch. Go there. Oh, more swimming. Lovely. Uh, go there and investigate. Uh, rescue Dovis if you can and recover the contraband if you can't. It should be four bottles of skooma. Uh, really? I have a reread of that in my head. Interesting. Right, sir, I'll get on it. Oh, can I have any advancement? Oh, interesting. I can't actually get any advancement from you. Whatever. Hmm. He should be. Who's that? Dovis. Yeah, he should be. Um, right. East Tower. That's where That's where uh, Darnell's hanging out, right? Oh. 25 gold for the shrine of awesome shield effect. I've spoken to this guy. <gasps> you're looking for, I'm sure I don't know how to Oh my god, look at it. I mean, <laughs> I'm playing as a legionary. I have no interest in toy guas. I'm not some kind of child. But out of curiosity, how much is it? A hundred! Good grief. I mean, it is a very good toy. Admittedly. It's an excellent quality toy. I mean, it's just a the magnificently produced and painted scale model of a guar. Bone charm. Summon a skeletal minion for 45 seconds. Do you know what? That's actually kind of tempting. But it's 250 gold, so no. That's also tempting. Maybe when I've got a bit more cash. Actually, speaking of cash... Now I'll take the Balm Amulet, thank you very much. Lesser. The Gua has a name. Adorable. Shall we do business? Ragru Grogash. Don't go wandering these wilds without a hardy weapon at your side, or two. I actually have four, sir, so I'm well, I'm well, well catered for. But have you got anything worth having? 
think the answer is no. <laughs> yep, it's a pretty resounding no. The Queen's Cutlass. Not been in there yet, I don't think. Right, is it this tower? Eastern Watchtower, here we go. Apparently this is what Dan Ale hangs out. There he is. Well, friend, what brings you here? Good to see you, Antonio. You need anything? About this contraband. I've got a suspicion this agent isn't any sort of Legion affiliate at all, champion. I'll bet when you find the guy, he won't even be in a uniform. He'll just be some rank smuggler that Vikius had a deal with. If I'm right, don't give it to Vikius. I want you to turn any contraband he's got over to me. I'll have it disposed of properly. Thromel's most loyal stooge. He'll act formal enough, but don't let it fool you. He's got one goal, keeping himself and his commander comfortable. Thromel, uh, he's the commander of the garrison and a villain of the highest order. All he cares about is his personal security and comfort, not about the Empire or its people or even about Firewatch. Watch yourself around him. Not a lot of pretty ladies around here. Be time for flirting later, you. He was either flirting or just insulting me there. I'm not entirely sure if I can make my mind up. Barrister's Guild. Hello. Dungeon or Dareneth. Caught up with a bad crowd? Wrong place at the wrong time? Contract unfulfilled? Guild certified barristers Dareneth and Dareneth provide a high quality legal services to all clients for a modest fee lean or wage garnishment remember when the law comes knocking it's dungeon or Dareneth. very good would antonio have bought the guar if publius was not around no if i think in fact if anything publius probably wanted the toy guar He's a simple fellow. Alright, so where is this thing then? An island just west of Firewatch. There's a few of those. go and have a look anyway. Actually, you know what? We haven't climbed up to the top of the, the tower yet. I'll see if I'm allowed up there. And we can have a look from up there and see if we can spot the the, 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 uh, the, the island in question. Scum. Uh, Kruples? Thank you for the gifts up. Much appreciated. Kruples? Corporals? please um ah here we go This is quite a lot of stairs. I should be the guy that has to bring the wood up here. Yeah, I know, right? Never skips leg day, that guy. He doesn't have a choice. Oh, I like that there's like windy sound effects up here. That's neat. And how are you? Can I well, so much for getting a better view from up here. <laughs> Can't see shit. What was that?
Never mind, I guess. And how are you? Can I help you? Oh, this area is off limits to everyone but Knights of the Order of Firewatch. Citizen, please don't loiter here. All right, you squeaky little man. I'll be going. This is the part where I give myself RSI by constantly scrolling the mouse to the right. Oh, there we go. Well, I feel dizzy now. Oh, he's made it. Oh, proud of you, Publius. Well done. All right. Island to the west of Firewatch, huh? That island wouldn't be called Bardenfell by any chance, would it? Because that's an island to the west of Firewatch. Maybe it's that one over there. I think that's an island. Swimming time again, everybody. ancestral tomb here apparently there's a little or not a beetle I got a bad feeling about this I don't see any evidence of what we're looking for but it is kind of the only island here honestly fog's cleared out and now we've got a decent view and it's just yeah Aside from actual Vardenfell, this is the only island to the west of Firewatch, so... Oh, there's the dead Guar. There we go. I was about to try and go into this place to, in the hope that maybe what we're looking for is in there, but that pretty much confirms it. Poor Guar. Alright, should we just... Uh Wait for a moment, get our breath back before we head in. Have something to eat and drink on the way. Mandirian Ancestral Tomb, eh? sound can I at least open level 10 lock apparently I can there we go our lock picking as previously discussed many times is kind of sucks there we go wasn't a greater bone walker if it was we'd really be in trouble I'm not going to loot the tomb. We're not in the business of looting tombs with this character. 
They might be heathen Dunma dead, but we'll still respect them, regardless. Well, except for the ones that are actually walking around and trying to kill us. Those dead can go fuck themselves. Like him, for example. <laughs> Dovis Athrion. Yep. As Darnell suspected. Not even in uniform. Yeah, we're not getting through that anytime soon, are we? Small scroll, Taldum Scorcher. Tempting, but no. Uh, hello. Oh, he's burdened me, the bastard. I think, unless he's actually buggered my strength. No, he hasn't. We're good. There we go. Book of rest and endings. And a chest that's locked. All right. I believe our work here is done. Close the door. Just be polite, you know. Okay. Looks like there's a way back onto dry land from here without going for another swim. So let's try take this, shall we? Well, on the other hand, actually, no, because um, I can't make that jump. Eh. My acrobatics sucks. I suppose technically I could have levitated maybe with a potion, but nah. We save our levitation potions for when we actually need them. I.e. whenever we have to visit the Telvani. <laughs> I should have known. How much racer meat have we got these days? I think we're all out of the stuff. You know what that means. Scrolls of Icarian Flight are still nerfed in this version of Rebirth. There was one nerf that Morrowind Rebirth did that I did not quite understand. The vast majority of the changes it makes I approve of, but that one I never really quite... never really got that. Hello. Still deprecated, huh? I know the feeling, man. wondering what happens if you cast levitate when you're on the moon like if gravity is less powerful on the moon then if you cast a levitate 10 point spell is it then effectively like casting a levitate 20 point spell for example because whatever magic the, the spell is doing to counteract gravity, surely you don't need as much of it if you're on the moon. So, wrong way. Need to go to the east tower. And the same kind of goes for jump spells. What happens if you cast a jump spell on the moon? Does it make you jump the same amount, or does it make you jump more? I 
Good to see you, Antonio. Need anything? You found that agent. Did he give any skooma? If he did, he should give it to me. I feel wary about this guy. I feel like... I, f I feel like... I don't know. I don't know. There's just there's there's this part of me that modern movies and TV have trained me to expect stupid plot twists uh, in everything these days. So there's a part of my brain that's going, "Oh, this guy's going to totally double cross us, and he's going to turn out he's the corrupt one," even though that logically I think doesn't make an awful lot of sense based on everything that's happened so far. But in spite of that, there's a part of my brain. The, uh, let's call it the Alex Kurtzman part of my brain that's going, oh, he's actually the real corrupt guy. And I shouldn't be giving this to him. He had two bottles of skooma. Thanks, I'll have this properly disposed of. In the meantime, have this. When you report back to Vicius, you can just say he drank it all. There's no reason he wouldn't believe you. All right. Get surgery, man. <laughs> Here's another question for you. What happens if you cast water walking underwater upside down? You found the agent's country. Hold on. Wait till he opens his eyes again. It's weird when they. It's weird when you talk to them when their eyes are closed like that. You found our agent's contraband. You found him and he'd used all of the skooma. What an idiot. Let's just move on then. Talk to me when you're ready for more orders. I need you to collect a shipment of contraband. Oh, again? Orsman alias Flagius is supposed to yield some of the contraband to the, the Sabre of the Straits has confiscated. This time we're due three bottles of skooma and six samples of moon sugar. Take these drakes and talk to him. Usually we pay him a thousand gold for the contraband, but... I'd like you to negotiate a bit. See if you can't get him down to 500. I'll make it worth your while. Now, get going. Okay. <laughs> You're not even trying anymore, dude. You're just like, man, I, dude, I need you to go buy me some moon sugar. There isn't, isn't even a hint of ambiguity to this. Darnell, I, uh, I think you're going to want to hear this. Uh, where is it? I'm sure it's as obvious to you as it is to me that this deal Vikius has with the oarsman is totally illegal. See if you can't rat him out to it, the Captain Garsgrove Grulock on the ship. If you do that, whole deal be spoiled and Vikius can't get his skooma. Why is Vikius asking me to just go buy him skooma? How are you so sure this is illegal? What a stupid question. I'm going to let you in on something people outside the garrison don't really know. The soldiers around here have this skooma racket. See? They're the law, so it's very easy for them to get skooma into the city. Then they sell it to the local dealers and line their pockets with the gold. It's a disgrace, frankly. And if you can throw a wrench in it, I'd be grateful. Throw a you wrench in it. Right for yourself. What can I do for you? Would that be a Dwemer wrench? Mm. 
I just noticed that the uh, one of the chimneys over the Mage's Guild is billowing green smoke. I've now noticed that in addition to the scorch marks on the out. What on earth? Damn mages. So where are we going? Go to Oarsman, alias Phagius, on the Sabre of the Straits and pay him to turn blah blah blah. Where is it though? Is it over at the docks? like maybe what we're after. Although it sounded like the captain was an orc. Speak up. Sabre of the Straits. Okay, here it is. This is it. T-E-M Sabre of the Straits. gone. For a swim again, as usual. Freaking loves going for a swim, does Publius. How can I help you? We'll have to make your Agnome and Aquaticus, won't we? Claudius Aquaticus Lucad. Oh my god, what are you wearing, dude? Ah, I mean, it's like a... Did you want it's like an ancient Greek style, you know. Almost like a Bithynian helmet, but I'm just not used to seeing that in the Elder Scrolls, so it's like, it took me off guard. Where's El Capitan? I wish to speak to the captain. Ah, here he is. What's this about contraband? Alias Flagius is selling confiscated contraband to the Dust Moth Legion. What? That little fetcher, I knew he wasn't losing all the skooma. Thanks for tipping me off, Antonio. I'll have him expelled immediately. Hooray! Okay, this ship is this is this is, we're having we're yeah, this is a TARDIS ship right here. It's uh, noticeably bigger on the inside. Pretty cool, though. I don't know. Is it bigger on the inside? I don't want to be unfair to the modders here. Someone might have worked very, very hard to make sure that it actually is the correct side on, size on the inside. It just feels very big on the inside. Oh, God. Probably it's just use use the gangplank, man. Idiot. <laughs> go ahead. There we go. He's teleported. Um. I guess I just need to report back to Vicius now and make some shit up. Safe. Got the contraband? Alias Flagius has been expelled from the Navy for selling the vessel's captured contraband. Oh, is that right? Suppose that's that. 
I'll be taking my money back then. Can't pay you for this, of course. I've got more orders for you when you're ready. Advancement. I don't have the rank to promote you. You'll need to talk to Thromil Rufus upstairs or Sinilios Tulnus in the Ember Keep Great Hall. Right. I need you to collect fines from the populace. Several citizens of Firewatch have outstanding fines they need to pay. Find Jinnar Kamu, who owes 500 gold for slander. Kul Tay, who owes 50 gold for trespassing. And Falstar the Whale Tooth, who owes 200 gold for disturbing the peace. If the citizens cannot pay and you, you, and you have to jail or kill them, then take whatever belongings they have and sell them. That should cover the fines and more. Jinnar Kamu. You can find Jinnar Kamu laying around the Silver Serpent Tavern. It's in a boat. Head down to the docks and head westward down the very end. It'll be on your left. Oh, it's like the bloated float. It's it's a floating tavern. Colte. He's usually wandering around in Uriel's quarter. That's the side of town with all the thatch roof houses packed together against the southern wall. You can't miss it. False star the whale tooth. His house is in Uriel's quarter. Shabby side of town with the thatch roof shacks. All right. I don't suppose through some miracle of the dialogue system Publius has anything to add about this. I don't think he... It would be virtually impossible that he does. No. What say you? What's this place? Oh, it's just the East Empire Company. I think... We shall have a little word with Darnell again. But also... It's getting late, we should find somewhere to stay. I could stay in the barracks, but at this point I'm wondering if I stay in the barracks. Might have me throat slit in the night. Well, Botel is only a technical term for it if you can actually stay there. Like an inn. If it's just a tavern, then it's not a Botel. Actually, all right. Uh, here we go. I don't think you should collect these these fines. These people haven't done any wrong. At least not enough to die or go to prison. Vikings just want some extra coin. If you paid the fines yourself, the people of Firewatch would be grateful, as would I. Oh man, I mean, I I ain't exactly made of money right now, dude. This is the most money I've had in weeks. And you want me to just hand it? Oh, bloody hell. Putting my damn ethics to the test now, aren't you? I mean, if we literally didn't have the money, that would make this interesting, wouldn't it? We'd pretty much have to go get the fines. I feel like maybe I want to at least talk to some of these people and ascertain yes. what they may or may not have done wrong. At the moment, I'm struggling to find out where oh, it must be over there. Your reels quarter. I can see thatched roof cottages. Wow. Nice uh, snow bear armor, dude. Fines for disturbing the peace? Bah, that ain't a real crime. Then be with your blood! <laughs> I kind of like that that's a dialogue option. <sighs> Pay the court a fine of 200 gold or serve a sentence of hard labor. I don't believe you've done anything wrong. I'll leave you be. Hm, run along. Has rewards for if you talk to him about the contraband. Oh, right, that's a good idea, actually. I totally forgot to do that. Who 
Who are the other people? Kulte, Jinal, Camo. Fines for trespassing? No, please, I cannot pay. I just noticed this. The sewer entrance. This place has sewers. Which, naturally, because un very much unlike the real world, sewers means adventure! Where's this, uh, where's this boat tavern then? Must be one of these. Oh, here we go. The Silver Serpent. Wasn't there, uh, an inn in. Neverwinter Nights called the Silver Serpent. Or is it the Shining Serpent? It might be the Shining Serpent. Let me guess, he's gone for a swim again? Yeah, thought so. Jinnar Camu, there he is. Kind of looks like a bit of a scumbag, admittedly, but... Fines. Fines for slander. Tchew. I speak nothing but the truth. The Dustmoth Legion is full of honorless brutes. All the Enwar do is take what is ours by and lay around. They are scum. There's definitely a part of Antonio that would like to punch this guy right in the face. But the thing is, he's right. This is a, this is a, the worst person you know just made a great point moment. <sighs> yes, good leave, he says. Just checking he hadn't gone for a swim again. I'm not busy now. What do you need? Well, we tried. We went to each person and found ourselves unable to actually do do the deed. So I guess this is coming out of our pay. Crap. There I was excited to have some gold finally. Confiscate contraband from a pair of smugglers in Helnim. Ligrod go Muzar in Helnim is smuggling moon sugar. Go to the basement of Arlen Leranoth, the pawnbroker, and take what Ligrod and his friend have. Kill him if you need to. Then bring it to our agent Surat Surabi. You'll find her in the Howling Noose Tavern. Now get to it. How many more of these uh, jobs can we screw up before he actually decides to have us dealt with? I wonder. This this has to be building to a head at some point. Oh, it's you. Right, first things first. Um, shipment of contraband. There we go. We've got. We've got. Forgot to ask him about this. He did the right thing here. Take this. A book. Oh, a book. Lovely. Red Guard's history and heroes has been added to your inventory. Maybe it's a skill book. You never know. I'm sure you're noticing a pattern with these agents of the Legion, Antonio. Make no mistake. Vicius is ordering you to smuggle moon sugar into the city for him. So here's what you should do. Go to those smugglers and helm them and get the moon sugar, but don't sell it to Sarabi. Tell Vikius the smugglers didn't have anything, and then give it to me 
so I can dispose of it. That way, we'll deny him his gold and keep the sugar off the streets. All right, then. What save? The Queen's Cutlass. Cozy sort of place. Well, that would be the eponymous Cutlass, I suppose. Yeah, I'll have the gold. <laughs> I love the sound of the door unlocking itself by magic upstairs. Uh, very amusing. Well, this is quite a nice, sir. Uh, I can't be asked to tell him to wait downstairs, so whatever. Um, what, what about this book, then? Ah! Yes, it was a skill book. Bloody long book, too, actually. Camaraderie. Interesting. Right. 11 p.m. Let's rest for eight, eight hours? Yeah. All right, so I guess we're off to hell then. Oh, before we leave. Give me the magical agility soup. Thank you very much. Right. Um, Helmet's all the way down there. It's quite a long trip, isn't it, really? Do we want to walk there is the question, or do we want it to go by boat? I might walk there. Um, There's been a lot of backwards and forwards dialoguing with NPCs lately. I'd like to hit the open road again. And also it will save us some money. Because I, I, I'm i beginning to suspect... I, it's something I've never really paid a mu huge amount of attention to in the past, but I'm definitely getting the impression that Morrowind Rebirth has made the fast travel costs significantly higher than vanilla. And that's kind of the main reason why we seem to be broke all the time. Have the magical shield effect again. Thank you very much. Right, so if we want to go south, how do we get out of town going south? Ye old, uh, you know, old Tamriel rebuilt firewatch used to have a gate around here somewhere. I can't get over how totally different it is. They really have rebuilt the place from the ground up. It's just unrecognizable from the original firewatch. Here we go. It's kind of weird, because in some ways I think I preferred the old Firewatch. It used to have a really cool library. Do you remember that? It had, like, up on a hill, there was a massive library you could go to, and it had, like, virtually every book in the game in there. Including a whole bunch of new ones from the mod. Right. go this way follow the coast it's got the college now though Dave yes it does it does we're too poor to do anything at the college though so <laughs> and there was the guy with the gummage quest that's the other thing I remember about your old firewatch the quest for gummage you have to go around asking everybody, trying to figure out what the heck gummage is. Aha! 
Gummy's guy's still there, actually. Oh, is he? Oh, jolly good, then. Ah, oh, hello. Surrender now, and I might let you live. Damn my terrible marksman skill. I do seem to have quite a bit of luck with the spear, though. Spear 39, admittedly... It did, my spear skill is slightly better than my marksman skill, but... It feels like my spear skill is way better than my marksman. What's this place called? Sorry? Thalag Zturams. Well, the last time I came into one of these places, I got myself an awesome new spear, so maybe there'll be something else good here. Kill it! Oh god, there's more. Centurion drone. Just saw how close we are to being over encumbered. Yeah, we're pretty much perpetually at that point with this character, unfortunately. The sheer weight of all our heavy armor, the weapons, potions, um, and all of the camping malarkey. Which means we're constantly nearly over encumbered. We're a real Marian mule, as someone pointed out in a previous episode. Ooh, yep, chest. Dwemer throwing knives, huh? I can live without him, I think. Wind salts? Hmm, that's a new one. Uh oh. Oh my god, there's a friggin' ghost. Who are you gonna call? Fire salt, boys. We got fire salt. I can make another spicy stew. Dwemer Greaves. I mean, I'm, I am actually playing as a heavy armor character for once, so arguably I could take those Dwemer Greaves, but unfortunately. I have to draw the line somewhere. Dwemer armor in this game just looks too damn silly. I've only ever used Dwemer armor with a single character in the past. It was a, it was a House Redoran Dunmer character, oddly enough. And the only reason I did it was because I noticed that a lot of the other um, House Redoran Dark Elf characters also were wearing Dwemer armor. And I kind of just wanted to fit in. Requires knife. <laughs> You're telling me we can skin these things? No. Okay. Just a, just a weird glitch. Very hot currently on account of all the lava, which is negatively affecting our endurance. I was thinking about dousing some water over us to cool us down, actually, but then I just realised we're in a 
We're in a ruin full of little creatures that have electricity damage. So that would be a just a terrifically bad combination. Here. Wow, this is cool. Oh no. Well, you know what? I think I've got at least a levitation potion here somewhere. There we go. Five points for fifteen seconds. That'll get us across. There's a centurion thingy up there. I can see a shadow glitching on the bottom of that platform. <laughs> I probably just try not to fall in the lava, mate. That's a tall order with you, but... What? Oh, Christ, really? This is a bad time to be immobilized on account of being too hot. I suppose I am roasting myself right above some lava, but hey, I mean, Jesus Christ game, give me a break here. him go. Oh my god. You are scorching. If you're scorching, yeah, if you're scorching, your strength gets drained. That's real annoying. That is real annoying. Technically, I can remove my trousers underneath my, uh, my, uh, boots and greaves, but there's something about that just feels very sordid. <laughs> warming up again. I'm too close to this damn lava. Need to drop something. I need to drop a few things actually, judging by my carry capacity right now. God damn. There we go, I can move again now. Old Blimmer book. I want to loot it, but I can't. I need to get, not not get too close to any of the friggin' lava, which is difficult in this place. I suppose I've got like a regular old pair of sandals or something. How are you still alive under all of that, Publius? Oh, repair hammer. We do actually need that. I got pro probably a bunch of my stuff is really busted right now. I haven't repaired my gear in ages. Oh god, yeah, you really, you really warm up when you get to one of these bits here with the floor, with the lava going under the grill. Spoiled Dwemer Oil. Whoa, that's worth a lot. Get away from the friggin' magma floor of doom.
Oh, it's just another stove where you can have lunch. Warm up the, the damn stew. Not that hot stew is something we want to be drinking in this place. Oh. I was hoping to turn that on and maybe start a shower. What he's made of is Dwemer scrap metal. Hmm. Hello. Big old pair of Dwemer boots. I go jumping down there I need to go back and get my stuff from the super hot lava area will you die please these guys are no bloody joke are they got a small mountain of health these guys, the ones in, in Tribunal that shoot the darts that can like insta kill you. Maybe the Dwemer were like, you know how long with the Telvanni it's like you can't really even go to speak to them unless you can cast a levitation spell. Maybe the Dwemer were like that but you need to be able to cast resist fire. An armor decreased array. <laughs> oh wow, that's pretty cool. It's start to cut, look more and more sci-fi the longer we go on. I'm gonna go back and get my stuff. Before we go any further. Good thing we got this shield blessing, actually, frankly. Otherwise, this would be a lot more painful. Right, quickly get in here, see if we can grab it before. Yep. Go, 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 go. Ah. Corridor of death. Go, go, go. I'm going to go stand over here in the cool corner for a moment. This place is intolerable. A thousand YouTube commenters rushed to delete their comments, pointing out, Dave, you forgot your stuff! Yes. I anticipated such an event and decided, you know what, I better go back and get it now before I go any further. Oh, this is that, this is that walkway we saw from down there. Oh Jesus, another ridiculously hot room. So there's a Dwemer thingy over there. Is that a statue or is that a, a ghost? 
the statue. The statue's hands are outstretched. Strange crystal. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I can't stay in there for very long, apparently. I can't have the stupid magma floor. Hot spooky room. The Futurama theme. <laughs> I was just thinking that too. <laughs> They're grouped a bit closer together. Oh, wrong way. Sit here plinking out the Futurama theme on the on the crystals. <laughs> Damn it! I'm stuck again. Do you know what? Hold on. Uh, mod config. I'm just gonna I'm gonna temporarily turn this off. There we go. That's better. I get it. It's really hot in here, game. You don't have to immobilize me. His hands are outstretched. I can't even begin to imagine how this puzzle's supposed to work. What's, uh, is there anything inscribed on these? I don't know what we're supposed to do here. I feel like there's some important information we're missing. I <laughs> we supposed to play the Morrowind theme. <laughs> I like the little hmm he made just then. <laughs> I have I have no idea. I have not, this maybe this is like a quest or something. Like a like an archaeology guild quest or a mages guild quest or something. And there's like an important item or a bit of information we're missing. I mean that I found that Dwemer book, didn't I? Manual on machinery maintenance. That provides us with no clues. You need to take a quest to complete it, just don't know uh, uh, access to the puzzle. Oh, it's there. I think it's fine. I'm not bothered. I'm not sitting here outraged about it. Obviously, I'm missing something important here, and I don't know what that thing is. Perhaps someday, with another character doing a different guild, I will find out. I grew up playing bloody Tomb Raider, man. In that game, you get a puzzle like that, and it'd be non-negotiable. At least in Morrowind, I can just walk away. Right. I believe I've got another potion. 
sort of thing you want to check before you use it really, but hey, here we go. Any second now, there we go. I'm gonna go back in here and turn the temperature effects on again. That's not what I wanted. fair I think there was a side passage upstairs somewhere that we didn't actually go through because I remember seeing the spiral staircase going down and immediately being like "Ooh, this looks interesting and I went down there and I didn't necessarily end up exploring everything up here although judged by the minimap it kind of feels like I have Oh my god, you fucking idiot! If it's if it's a liquid, Publius is involved. If it's a liquid, this man wants to be immersed in it. Lunatic. Yes, something, something immersion, but dumb tish. Right, can I just quickly get across here without roasting? Use a slightly better levitation potion. He's a loony, is what he is. Right, this time, Publius. Please avoid going for an extremely hot bath. He's gonna be able to make it up those stairs. I better just try and get him to just teleport. There we go. Look at him carefully walking around the side. <laughs> um, I was about to say we've not been in here, but there's a dead thingy, so apparently we have. Just hadn't been through that exact door. All right, there may have been something here, and I apologise if there was something that I missed. And you're watching this later on YouTube and you know what the thing I missed was and you're absolutely tearing your eyeballs out now in frustration. Uh, I can only apologise. But I haven't been able to figure it out.
still pretty cool. Um, figuratively speaking, if not literally. Now then, where were we? I believe we were headed this way somewhere. Don't you mind. Oh, angry beetle. We should probably stop and rest somewhere soon. I think Publius's health bar is not looking very healthy. Oh my god, really? It's another asshole Ashlander, everybody! This one's got a Dwemer short sword. Andres Ravil. Mondras Ravil now. Is this an ancestral tomb? Yes. We shall leave it alone then. Might be missing out on some quality Tamriel rebuilt content by not going in there, admittedly, but... Well, every man's got to have a code. Or woman, in this case. I'm looking for... There we go. Hello. Well, again, I think all this terrain is very different from the old Tamriel Rebuild. It's, it's similar in some ways. Like this big sort of like rocky ridge line here that, that I kind of remember. But uh, a lot of this coastline has now got, 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 got a bit of a Shea Gorad kind of look, which it definitely didn't have before, I don't think. Oh, there's a random flame atronarch just out for a walk in the rain. Trying his best to become a steam atronarch, I suppose. There we go. Oh, I think I enabled the code patch option that lets me... There we go, yeah. de -knock my arrows. I just keep forgetting to actually do it. Force of habit and all that. Oh my god, I've got the old teleporting Publius problem again. Oh, really, dude? Ugh. Oops. Sorry, I bumped the microphone there. Why do we have a bow and a crossbow? We have a bow and a crossbow because crossbow bolts are actually quite rare and my marksman skill at the minute sucks donkey dick. And so I prefer to train my marksman using a crappy iron bow with crappy iron arrows rather than wasting perfectly good crossbow bolts. Uh, no spells in this run, I'm afraid, so that's right out. Oh, we're not going to be able to harm you with this. Oh, anyway, anyway, are we? I just realised. Stupid Daedra and your stupid weapon resistances. No, we can do use enchantments, but the problem is I do not have the several hundred thousand gold it requires in this game to actually enchant anything. So 
so that's kind of out. Surrender now and I might let you live. Come on. <laughs> I'm loving the bull netch up there at high altitude, just enjoying the show. Okay, you don't need to mock me by just one-shotting it like that, you know. Well, on the bright side, it looks like that fire atronach has been replaced by a musk fly. Really? All right. Oh, there's another, there's a beetle. I've had the beetle. These poor beetles really are kind of suicidal, aren't they? They just, they have no health. They're like mud crabs. Even I can kill them. Another ancestral tomb, I assume? Yes. You're expecting Publius to die via musk fly. That don't give him any ideas. Oh, Daedric ruin. Too tempting. Must investigate. Actually, before we do, let's just wait a little while for our fatigue to come back and do a little bit of repairing first. Uh, I think I got some prongs as well. There we go. Right, that's the best we can do, I'm afraid. Oh no. Please do not kill Publius. Oh, okay, <laughs> killed us both. <laughs> uh, there's another one up there and all. You know what? Forget this place. Maybe we won't go to the Daedric Ruin. Tis a silly place. Kind of where the road ends, it looks like to me, but uh, we'll keep going this way anyway. Hi! Oh god, beetle murder simulator. Let's do this. I'm gonna kill them all. The next hand over there with a couple of scamps. I, I do love the attention to detail insofar as if you get hit by a fireball, it warms you up. As far as Ashfall is concerned, it's, it's pretty funny. Die. 
Why did it have to be one of you? What is what is Publius doing? Um God damn it. Damn it. These guys have definitely received an upgrade. I remember these being some of the weaker Daedra in vanilla. Just wondering desperately if I ever resist fire potion here somewhere, but I don't think I do. There, I can silence him at least. Publius, wherever you are, you better not be frigging dead, dude. Damn it! <sighs> A random cliff racer decided to join in the party there. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Really? Really? We're watching you, scum. Can we get around this guy? We, we need to set up camp somewhere and rest because Publius's health is just almost completely gone. As you can see. <laughs> Fucking hell. This seems like a decent enough spot, I suppose. Right. Do we need to light a fire? Is that really necessary? Might be. It's kind of chilly here, I suppose. Don't know if we really need to cook anything. It's a little close to the fire, but never mind. Uh, right, so we'll rest until 6 a.m. I guess. Right, you all healed up now, dude? I hope you are. Wow, it got really foggy, didn't it? Let's see if I can try and get around this guy. Oh, it's the beetle that one-shotted him last time. This is a dangerous part of the world, isn't it? My god, everything wants you dead here. one of the things about this region of the map in the old Tamriel River was actually that it was markedly safer than Vardenfell in terms of angry wildlife. Not anymore! It's like 
farming mobs in an MMO, this. Uh-oh. I recognize that orc. Yeah. Be executed. Let's see what you're made Not of. quite. Maybe the next hit will do it. <laughs> this is pointless. Give in. Uh, now would be a good time to use a shield scroll, admittedly. Don't know if that's going to help or not. Blind might make make lower the hit chance, perhaps. Oh my goodness. What is it about orcs with ebony swords? Keep at it, Publis. Oh, don't. I wanted to drink it. For some reason, I have to click twice sometimes when I use a potion. It's very annoying. This is calm humanoid. It's on target, right? Holy crap, okay, that didn't work. Uh oh, she's now attacking Publius. That's arguably worse. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Oh, for crying out loud. Alright, well, you know the drill, everybody. Who is this person while we're fighting here? Because she's a random asshole, asshole orc, and she's a random asshole orc. Um. Yeah. Is that an ash storm approaching? I believe it is. Ow! 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 There we go. <laughs> she appears to have a skull collection. Ebony long sword. It's actually not much of an improvement over uh, the sword of Augustus. Publius, would you like an ebony long sword? Just come a bit closer, please. Enjoy. Don't any of her other stuff. It's tempting to take the Orcish Tower shield, actually. I, mean, I quite like my Imperial Round Shield, but the Orcish one is just so much better. It actually weighs less than the Imperial Round Shield as well. I mean, of course it does. It's medium armor and this is heavy.
I don't want to get rid of my round shield, but... Now we've got, both got orcish shields. We're orcish shield buddies. That's a bunch of flame atronachs that I have no interest in. This is just the coast of death. This is. I don't know what this region's called. This is the Dagon Ural region. That must be Altmeris for Coast of Death. Ooh, glass sausage. Yum. Oh, some gold. Quite a bit of it, in fact. Don't mind if I do. More skulls, hooray! I think I'd quite like to rest here for a little while, actually. Three hours. I'm hoping this the storm will go away, really, but it doesn't look like it's going to anytime soon. Um, let's do some potion making. Let's do some potion making. I've got a lot of restore health ingredients on me at the moment. As you can see. Resin. Fail. I'm all out of healing stuff. Well, that's a little disappointing. Didn't loot any cliff racer plumes recently, did I? I should make a mental note of doing that, because I've got trauma root here. It means levitation potions, which as we've seen are jolly useful to have. Right, well, there's a there's a few more potions. Just one of them right now, in fact, I think. Just looking at this stuff and seeing what provides the most warmth. Pauldrons only provide warmth one. Interesting. Ah. Hello. Oh, I hit. Oh, I killed him with my bow. Amazing. That doesn't happen very often. It's very exciting when it does. I believe there's a cat at the door, everybody. Finally, he has arrived. Bastard clan fear. Sorry, I need to get into the habit of de-knocking the arrows instead of, you know, just shooting them at stuff. Hello, Mr. Fire Action Arc. Don't want to fight you. Hey, I remembered it that time, see? Oh, crap. No, 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 no. I don't want to fight you. Fuck! That's exactly why I don't want to fight you. Christ on a bike. Yeah, this place is swarming with danger, isn't it? I don't know why, but it is. There's danger all over this damn countryside. I need to make all those potions again. <laughs> No 
nobody to blame but myself. Should have saved after I made them. What is the time? It's nine o'clock. Good heavens. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's actually going to be it for today. Look at us. Hawk shield buddies. <laughs> um, yeah, that's going to be it for today, everybody. Um, hope you've enjoyed. Hope you've had fun. We'll have to pick up the rest of this journey next time. Because uh, we're out of time. So uh, next weekend, same usual sort of time, we will continue this journey to Helnim. This journey from hell to Helnim. We're on the highway to Helnim right now. Because, wow, this, this, yeah. Like I said, in oh, the old Tamriel rebuilt, this particular stretch of countryside was actually quite tame. There weren't a lot of monsters here. That was one of the nice things about it. Not anymore, apparently. Apparently <laughs> the modders were just like, no! Daedra everywhere! Cover the whole countryside in Daedra! I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, folks, um, I'll see you next weekend. And if you've been watching on YouTube during the week, uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll check your comments later. And I'll see you in the next one, folks. Uh, I'll just check is there anybody streaming no i just wanted to double check variax wasn't streaming because that caught me off guard yesterday uh no right so ladies and gentlemen have a good one enjoy the tiny fraction that's left of your weekend and uh i'll see you next time Toodaloo.